Hey everyone, welcome back to Anything Makes More. I am looking very rough today. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I've been, I told myself this week I was going to work on orders. Um, and I was going to get them done because I haven't crocheted in about three days or so. I've kind of taken a break because I'm getting very burnt out um, already. Um, and I really need to get stuff done because um, it's, I've been putting it off way too long. So I'm pushing through the orders. Um, today I'm going to show y'all and explain it more in depth for those of you who crochet and are um, a little bit more advanced. I'm going to show y'all how I make the big keychains. I'm explaining to y'all how I make them in case you're more of a visual learner than you are reading the pattern. Um, if you need to, pause it, rewind, fast forward. Um, it doesn't, you know, and obviously anything that I say or do in this video that I might do differently than you do, do it your way. Do it however you feel comfortable. That's fine. It's just how I learn and just how I do it. But um, your keychain will look something similar to this. Um, and you can put the wings how you want to. You can put them flat on the sides or you can put them up like these little teddy bear ears like I do. Um, and this is about the size of them. None of my bees are the same size. None of their wings are the same size. If you can see, one yeah. smaller one was a little bit bigger. And I'll even tell you how to attach the keychains. Um, so I'll tell you every single step that I do, how to sew them, how I sew the wings on and everything. Um, so that's gonna be today's video. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm going to continue on with the beginner stuff. Um, we'll do a slip stitch and then probably a half double crochet as well. Um, but I want to do a quick review real quick. Um, really, really fast. This is from a small business that I bought from off of TikTok. Um, she sells and makes amazing stickers. They're so cool. Um, if you're into that kind of stuff like I am, um, and I'll show y'all real quick. So hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Um, first of all, her packaging is amazing. Um, and it matches her brand. This is like a wax seal that she puts on there with a little acorn. Um, she does a lot of the packaging videos on her TikTok, so you can actually see that this is how she does it. Um, it did come wrapped in tissue paper with the cutest little black cat washi tape on it, and it was Eli. And it was wrapped in twine as well. It was tied in twine. If you want to see that whole that of me um, of me opening this, you can go see it on my TikTok. Um, but this is, like I said, real quick. She gave, uh, put in there a really cute thank you note. I'm sorry, I'm kind of stumbling my words here. I'm trying to get through this really fast. Thank you so much for supporting my dreams. I am so happy you found my TikTok. I included some freebies. I hope you love everything. Um, so that was really nice of her. Um, first off, her packaging has her logo on it, which is super awesome. Um, everything she has has her logo on it, so it all matches very well. Um, this is her business card. It's Acorn and Crow um, Studio, and I'll put a picture of this at the end of the video. And this is her Etsy, Instagram, and email. She also has a TikTok, which is the same um, thing. But I ordered two of her large stickers, and they are so cheap. I don't even understand why she... What? It's okay. You're fine. Um, they're so cheap. I don't understand why she doesn't charge more for her work, but she does amazing work though. Um, but these are huge stickers. You see how big they are and the detail in them is unreal. This is the Plague Doctor. This is a rose, black and white. I love this. It's actually very different from a lot of stickers that you see. That's what drew me to them. And this one's one of my favorite, my personal favorites. Um, and I'll put a clear picture, like I said, at the end of the video, along with all her information, as I always do. And this was her little freebies. Um, I know it's hard to see, but they're all little crystals, um, and they're super cute and so tiny. But that's everything. Everything matches in her packaging. It matches her brand. It matches her style. Um, she's so, so sweet. Um, definitely go check her out. Again, it's Acorn and Crow studio um go check out her etsy her prices like i said are crazy um she's they're super affordable um i'm definitely probably definitely gonna go back and buy more um so yeah for sure 
and she sells keychains and other stuff too so i'll be buying um christmas presents as well from her um but that is my quick review for um a small business i found on tiktok um definitely go check her out i recommend her 10 out of 10 amazing work amazing um attention to detail with her packaging as well as her stickers are beautiful um so i'm probably gonna hoard these for a little while i don't want to stick them on anything right yet right yet um but yeah that is that is all for the beginning part the rest of this video like i said is going to be um how i crochet the bees how i crochet the wings um, and then how I sew them on and then the keychain, uh, putting it on there as well. And then the pictures and everything, all the information will be at the end of the video as it always is. So I hope I didn't talk too fast. Um, uh, but that's going to be all for today's video. I got to get back on these orders. I got to get these 10 B's done. I only have one done and then I have to get more orders done. So, um, that's going to be all for today's video. Again, I will see y'all Wednesday for, um, another beginner crochet tutorial and if i get anything else in the mail i'm not i don't think i'm expecting anything but if i do for any reason i will do a video on it or a review but that's gonna be all for today thank you all for watching please remember to like share and subscribe um also hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time i post a new video which is monday wednesday and friday and sometimes in between um also when i hit 200 subscribers we will do a two winner giveaway it will be something for crochet um decal vinyl related and probably some custom pop sockets or something like that maybe a cup customized cup i don't know we'll figure it out when we get there um, but thank you all for the love and support. Y'all are all amazing and I appreciate it. And, um, I'll see y'all Wednesday. Hey everyone. Um, so I just wanted to do, for those of you who, um, are a little bit more advanced in crochet and, um, I know I've been meaning to do a video like this. Hopefully it will turn out right. Um, I'm going to tell y'all how exactly I make my little B keychains. Um, and they're not all perfect. You see some of them are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So, uh, they turn out to be different sizes. I don't, I don't know. Every bee's different anyways. But, um, I just want to go and see if I can do a quick tutorial on how, and tell y'all how I do it. Um, how I make them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I use Red Heart Super Saver in lemon. Um, and then just the mainstay brand, um, in black. And then um, I'm not sure the exact size of the safety eyes I use, but you can see they're not too small and not too big. Um, and then obviously the keychain hardware. Um, and I use a size 4.5 millimeter hook. Um, and what you're gonna do is, and again, hopefully I'm not going too fast um, for those of you who know what I'm saying. Um, you're going to make a magic circle or a magic ring, and this is how I do mine. Everybody does it differently, I know. Um, and then you're going to do five single crochet. Three, four, and five. And then, um, close it, obviously. And then we're going to do, um, two single crochet in each stitch. And, um... I just work continuous rounds. I don't join. Um, I don't use a stitch marker either. Make sure you um, close up that hole. Is that's the front of it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then um, usually I just cut off that tail because it's just in the way. Um, and then I go ahead and go right into it again. Um, and you're going to do two single crochet and then one or increase and then one single crochet, increase and then one single crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around back to the beginning. And then one and then one, two. Okay, um, and then what I do is I'll just single crochet around and I'll probably do that for, I'm trying to, 
I'm just so used to making them now, so I can just eyeball how I do it. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to tell y'all exactly um, what, how many rows I'm going to do or something like that. But let's see. And you can obviously do it however you want to, but this is just how I do it. Um, like I said, you can do it your way. It's fine. Um, we're only going to do the yellow for... We're going to try one row, which is the one we just did. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and place your safety eyes in there. And I'll show you how I place mine. And again, I hope I'm not going too fast, but I am trying to get through this kind of quickly. Um, because I don't want to make it super, super long. Um, so if you need to pause it, go ahead. Um, but if you can follow along pretty fast, then this is where um, how I'm going to be doing it. Um, you see there's a center. I usually go over about maybe like right here into that second or third, the third oops, row. Um, and I don't put the backing on until I actually look at them and I'm happy with the placement. But I just judge it. I put it on. I just judge it. If it looks right, then I will go ahead and put the backing on here. Make sure you put it on there. Push them all the way down. And that looks about right. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten that back up again because it came loose. And that looks decent there. Um, I'm actually going to go in for one more row after I put the safety eyes on. Just because it looks like it needs it. So you'll do two rows of single crochet around. If that helps at all. Um, <laughs> I don't write patterns. So this is um, as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm kind of a hot mess when it comes to this. But um, I know I've had a few people that asked me if I could write a pattern out or something. Um, then you're going to go ahead and switch to black. And join it however you know how to. Everybody joins theirs um, differently. And then you're going to do two rows of single crochet for the black and then we'll switch back to the yellow and um like i said you can join this however you want to um i do not cut my yarn when making these um until i get to the very end um but like like i said that's just how i do it and um of course the bottoms aren't perfect of um the way they look the bottoms aren't perfect but um it's a keychain so and i know there's a there's probably a better way to join i know so you don't have the steps in it and i've done it before it's just sometimes it doesn't always work out right um so now we're gonna switch back to yellow and like i said i don't i do not cut yarn i just grab the other color and string it through as I'm going. And you're going to do two rows of single crochet for the yellow. And the large B is pretty much the same same concept, except more rows, um, obviously. Um, for the bigger B, I do a magic circle and I will do six single crochet. Um, and then I will go around, I think I increase for four five rows maybe six rows um i read it i wrote out the pattern on the last b video i did um which was a time lapse it, it is in the com um, not the comment section it is in the description actually um i think i put this keychain one in there too um now we're gonna switch back to black again and this will be the last row of black that we do for the stripe this is the last stripe um and again you're gonna do two rows of single crochet but I'm going to show y'all how I make, why I continue to run the yarn through like this and not clip it off and rejoin it every single time I do a color change. Um, I I don't know if anybody else does this. I mean, I just kind of thought of it myself and it works, so I roll with it. Um, I'll show y'all in just a second. And like I said, I'm trying not to make this too long, but it's not the fastest thing <laughs> either just to crochet um and if you crochet slow that's okay um the reason why i'm working a little bit faster like i said i need to get all these orders done 
And this order is for 10 B keychains for um, a gender reveal party. Um, this is a special order from Etsy. Um, now we're going to join the yellow. And this time we're going to decrease and then single crochet three. And then we're going to decrease again, single crochet three. And my stomach is rumbling because I'm hungry. My coffee's wearing off. Decrease again, single crochet, one, two, and three. And then you're going to decrease, single crochet two. And then um, after I get this row done is when I'll stuff it. And, when I, and then I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do with this black yarn. Um, so there's that, decrease again. Single crochet one, two, decrease again. Single crochet one and two. And then I'm gonna stop for just a second and I'm gonna clip this yarn, this black yarn here, just a little bit long. Not super long, but just a little bit, if you can see that. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and stuff it because it's gonna to get to the point where it's gonna be hard to uh, put the polyfill in there because the end will be closed off um, almost all the way, but not completely. So um, you can stuff your bee as much or as less as you want. Um, I stuff all of the things that I make pretty firm um, just so they keep that little round um, bullet, little fat shape there. Um, so, and that's what the bottom looks like. Again, it's not perfect, but there's a little face. Um, and pull that black yarn back out. Okay, and we're gonna, gonna continue to work around that black yarn, just leave it sticking out there. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna decrease again. But this time you're gonna decrease and then single crochet one. Decrease and then single crochet one. Decrease. And it's getting a little bit harder to do. Um, single crochet one and then decrease again. And then the next row, you're just going to decrease all the way around. And it should pretty much close it up. And the yarn's trying to split. And you can just push that down after you get that done. Um, this being a pain, it's going to show out today. I know I didn't go into the round like I was supposed to, but at the end, I'll just go across like um, from the stitch and just make a slip stitch. I'll chain two. Don't clip your finger and I'll tie it off. And then, um, yes, it looks funny because it's poking out, but all I do is I'll just take my hook and grab that yarn tail, <laughs> it's giving me a fit. <laughs> and I will just randomly run it through all the stitches um, just to hide it and just to kind of secure it as well to make sure it's in there. Um, and we're gonna run it through one more time, right over here and pull some stuffing out of course. Clip that as close to the body as you can get it. And this is why I said um, I like to continuously just switch yarn back and forth instead of clipping it and then rejoining it. Um, it's not perfectly centered. I'm going to try to get it in the, the center of uh, the back here. This is kind of hard to do. Um, is because I actually use... <laughs> well, this is going to be harder than I thought. Oh, my goodness. Um, sorry, y'all. There we go. Um, is, is It's attached all the way through, like I said, because at the end, that little tail that I left, I clip it off and there's a stinger. And then that way that the stinger can't fall off or it can't be pulled out because it's connected all the way up here. So that's what it looks like and that's what I do um, for that. And then there's your little um, chunky bee. And you can just push the back end in, something like that. And... Um, the wings are super simple. Um, I'm making those last. I'm making all the bees first. And then like an assembly line, I'll make the bees, make all the wings. Then I'll sew them all on. Then I'll do all the keychain hardware to them. Um, and I'll probably stop whenever I get to that point and do a video for that. And I might actually just make this whole video about bees. Um, just so y'all can follow along for those of you who 
um, already know how to do this stuff. Um, the wings, you do a magic circle and you put um, five single crochet in there. And then you're going to increase in four stitches and then slip stitch in the last one and then close it off and it'll kind of give you like a um like a semicircle in a way um so it's flat on the bottom but it'll have like a round top like this and then um like i said once i get to the wings i'll i'll do a, a, that part on it but if you want to go ahead and skip ahead of it that's fine um and then i sew them directly behind this first stripe and i put my wings on top you can put yours flat like this it's just your preference, but that's just how I do mine. And then the keychain hardware, I will attach it right here to the front of the stripe, right here in the middle. Um, but like I said, I will stop whenever I get to that point, and I will show y'all how I do all that as well. Okay, everybody. So, um, we're going to go ahead and make the wings. I've gotten all 10 bees made, finally. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, it took me a couple hours to do this. Um... But what you're going to do, we're going to use the same size hook. We're not going to change nothing. Um, you're just going to get some white yarn um, or whatever color you want your wings to be. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's the same thing. We're going to do a magical circle, however you were taught or learned how to do it. Um, we're going to do five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Um, five single crochet into the magical circle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochet in this stitch or an increase whatever you'll call it there's two there's three four and then two in this one is five six and then two in this one that's seven eight but instead of doing it in the last stitch in that fifth stitch here you're just going to take it and you're just going to slip stitch chain two and close my scissors. Clip it off. Um, make sure you tighten up that knot. And then all I do is just run the yarn back and forth through here just to hide that little tail in that knot so it's not sticking up. Um, just like that. And then I'll clip off both of these little yarn tails. Well, honey. Yep. Um, and that's what the wing is going to look like. What, honey? I don't know. Um, you see, it, it's flat on the bottom, and then it's round on the top like a semicircle, like I said. And it's really that fast. Um, and, um, some of the bees I got to form and shape because they're a little squished. And some of them, if you can see... I'm going to put them all over here so y'all can actually see them all um, together. Here we go. Um, if you can see, some of them are a little bit, like, this one's a little bit chunkier. This one's a little bit smaller. That one's a little chunky. This one's, they're all different shapes. Um, even though it's the same pattern over and over and over again, they're literally <laughs> all look a little different. But this is what it's going to look like whenever you get it made. And this is what I'm talking about. You see how I will put it directly behind that first stripe. And I put mine that way. But you can put yours, um, I've seen people, they put them flat like this. That's totally up to you. I just like them like this, standing up. It looks like little bunny ear, or teddy bear ears. Um, but it would look cute either way, honestly. Flat like that. You can see that. Or standing up like this. It's like I said, it's just whatever your preference is, it's fine. Um, there's no right or wrong way to put your wings on your bee. Um... So, yeah, but again, real quick, we're going to do a magic circle, um, do five single crochet into the circle, two, three, four, oops, and five, and look at that yarn barf, ooh, lovely, um, I swear, <laughs> sometimes you get that wonderful, um, as I've heard it, uh, as I've always heard it's been called as a um, yarn bar for uh, your yarns giving birth, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're going to do, we're going to increase in four of the stitches. So two in that one, two in this one, that's two, that's four, two in this one, that'll be six, two in this one, that'll be eight, and then slip stitch into this fifth one here. 
Make sure you tighten that up. I chain two. Daddy, mommy. Cut it off. Daddy, mommy. What, honey? Daddy. I love you too. Daddy, <laughs> He's sweet when he wants to be. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and run that yarn tail through here a couple of times just to hide it. Um, to hide the, the knot and then the tail, of course. Go ahead and get all this out of the way. If I can get it in the stitch. There we go. Um, make sure it's all pulled tight. And then just cut the little tails off there. Little ends. And then you got your little wings. So I'm going to finish making the rest of them. Um, and then um, I will come back and show y'all exactly how I sew them on in case some of y'all um, don't understand how I do it. And then I will show y'all how I put the hardware, um, the keychain stuff on as well. And then we'll do, show the uh, finished product. So I'll be back. Okay, so <laughs> I finally got all the wings made for all the bees. It took me long enough. Um, I'm definitely tired of seeing bees now and I have to make more um, for a different orders. I have to make Halloween colored ones. So, oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna take our bee and um, you got your yarn needle. This is like the smallest one, I swear. Um, but I lose them all the time. And this is the only one I have left. So, um, yeah. And we're going to take a set of wings. And push all these to the side. And get them out of the way. Whew, goodness gracious. 20 wings later. Um, and what you're going to do is, like I told y'all, behind this first stripe, I'm going to put it about right there. And I'm going to sew it on. I'm just going to run the sewing needle under there, under that stitch, and um, through the wing like that. And, one, two. and then I'm going to run it right back through again so the stitch don't come out. Literally back to the same exact place that I just ran it through. And um, these really small needles are hard to work with. But again, that's the only one I have left because I just cannot seem to keep up with them. I don't know how I lose them all like I do, but I do. Um, so I'm going to run right back under there again. And you can sew them on how you want, but this is how I do it. If you want them to look just like mine. But um, look, make them look however you want. Um, it's your bee. And everybody's bee will look different anyways. Because um, not everybody crochets the same. And um, so now what I'm going to do is just run the needle under. And back to the top over here. Okay, and there's one wing attached. And if you see the stinger right here, if you see it's fraying out a little bit, um, I'll actually show y'all a little trick that I do to help those, <coughs> which I'll do to all of them here in a minute. But we're gonna go ahead and attach the other wing. We're gonna run that needle through um, one of the stitches on here. And then right under that, right there, that stitch. And again, this this little needle is so hard to work with, especially with this thicker yarn. These little needles aren't meant for this yarn at all. And it's, oof, it's already irritating me. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I'm literally pulling as hard as I can. Look at that. It's a freaking mess. There's something going on in there. I'm not sure. Something got tangled up in there somewhere, somehow. Uh, mommy. What? What? I don't see nothing. What? Did I get it? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, sorry about that. So, we're going to run that again. And run that. And now where I pulled that, I had a hard time at stretch out the stitching right there. So it made it a little bit harder to see. 
and my wings they aren't all the same size either just like the bees they're not all the same size so they're all unique they all look different but what yeah but not every animal not every bee looks the same anyway so just like not every person and then what i'm going to do is just run this needle under to the bottom and then pull pull it tight right there a little bit not too much and cut it flush with the body refluff the bee out because it got squashed and you see that's what it looks like and out hey no stop please um <laughs> toddlers or kids will test your um test their look oops and that's what he's doing today sorry i got my phone on the charger i'm trying to show y'all how to do this real quick for anybody who's curious at all or if anyone is in in general um this is the keychain hardware i get um get it off of amazon you get a whole bag you get it without falling you get 50 pieces um 28 millimeter open ring and connectors um i think you can get them in different colors but i got silver and um this is what it looks like it already comes with the little chain attached and then this is the connector piece that you're going to connect to the top of the b and i don't know where i put my pliers we're going to try to do this without pliers <clears throat> this is going to be interesting for sure um if you have jewelry pliers or something like that i would definitely recommend getting them and using those but about right here in the middle between the two wings i'm going to run this connector ring in here and you don't want it on one little stitch you're going to want it on at least two stitches and i know it's hard to do but if you like i said if you have pliers this would be no issue for you and again i don't know where i put mine at so there it is like that and then you're going to take the keychain and connect it and then you're going to squeeze this together and i don't know if i have anything just squeeze this shut so we're going to try to yeah no i'm hurt my finger um I'm still gonna find my pliers but i did get it closed and those things ain't worth a darn um all i'm gonna do is just turn that ring in here um in the b turn it in there so that the place where it's um closes shut is like i said facing downwards so it don't have a chance to um jump off for any reason which it shouldn't anyways especially if you close it correctly and this is what it looks like and again make your be how you want to that's totally up to you um and this tail the not the tail um the stinger sorry the stinger um what you can do is take some either some tacky glue um, which is like a fabric type of glue or um mod podge and just take a dab of it you don't need a lot um take a dab of it and just twist the stingers like that and i'll clip off that little fuzz um... <laughs>